Welcome back. 609 on this Wednesday morning. We are halfway through the week. We are. Yesterday was a nice day to swim. Today is going to be a nice day to swim. It's going to be warmer today. Warmer today. So mm -hmm. if you're going to be outside, maybe some uh, sunscreen. Is the sun going to be shining? Oh, I think so. Definitely okay. have the sunscreen handy. And some hair ties handy too, because it's going to be a little windy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you'll need the hair tie. Yeah, today, I get my hair ties yeah. Out. <laughs> you know, we'll have gusts up to 35 miles an hour. Lots of sunshine. Off to a rain-free and mostly clear start with comfortable temperatures right side, right outside your window. We're at 64 in Waco, Temple at 63, upper 60s in Clean and Marlin, and 64 in Gatesville. We're mostly clear in the wake of our next cold cold front and this cool front will move in early Thursday, so that'll make our temperatures fall back into the 70s tomorrow. So if you like the heat and you like the upper 80s and low 90s, enjoy it while it lasts and parts of the state already looking at triple digits. It's what April 10th and we're looking at 103 degrees in Laredo, mid 80s in Corpus Christi. But for us right here at home, we're looking at upper 80s and low 90s. So we have forecast a high of 90 in Waco, low 90s in Gatesville, Hamilton, Comanche looking at 94, just toasty for western counties today. And there's that gust up to 35 miles an hour. We'll stay rain free tonight and a Thursday. Temperatures will fall back into the upper 50s. Most communities falling into the low 60s will stay mostly clear during the day Thursday as well with lots of sunshine. So that cold front currently draped over New Mexico that's going to move through our area early in the day Thursday and that'll make temperatures fall into the upper 70s and low 80s and then back to reality on Friday with near normal high temperatures will be at 77 and clean and Lampasas, China Springs looking at a high of 73 but clouds will start to build back in with some showers and storms late Friday evening. I'm talking midnight and then unsettled weather returns Saturday. So most of us looking at numerous showers and storms Saturday we will get some cloud to ground lightning, even some stronger storms in Waco and Gatesville stretching north into Dallas Fort Worth looking at large hill as a main concern. Also damaging wind gust up to 60 miles an hour. So that is one latest forecast update is strong to severe storms will be possible early in the morning on Saturday into about early afternoon. So here's that hour by hour. This is just before midnight Friday. We'll start seeing some rain uh, build in right around sunrise on Saturday. Pockets of heavier rain yellow showing that OK, stronger storms will be possible out in the West Texas and then eventually make its way eastward by 12 PM. It's not going to be a soaker like last weekend. We're only looking at one inch for most of us up to two inches that we isolated higher amounts and we could still see strong storms by 12 p.m. But look at that rain starts to taper off east of I-45 by mid afternoon on Saturday into Saturday night and then drying out and mostly sunny Sunday morning. Lots of sunshine Sunday into early next week. Temperatures very nice in the 70s Sunday and Monday warming back up Tuesday and Wednesday and rain chances return Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Back to you. Hi,